Let's have a quick look at your VLE chart and how it affects your distillate. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and today we are touching on the video we did last week where we discussed how a bubble plate will affect your distillate while you are distilling. Now in that video I mentioned a VLE chart or the vapor liquid equilibrium chart. What I want to do in this video is just quickly have a closer look at the chart and discuss how I got to the numbers that I mentioned in the previous video. Now if you haven't watched that video I'll link it up here where we discuss how the bubble plates affect your distillate. So let's quickly go down to the whiteboard and have a closer look at what the VLE chart is and how it affects your distillation. So what we have in front of us here is our phase diagram or a vapor liquid equilibrium chart or a VLE chart. Now this chart is an indication of what happens to your liquid as well as your vapor during the distillation process. Keep in mind that this chart is for ethanol and water, pure ethanol and water mixture. So it's not very accurate when it comes to our distillation process, but it does give you a rough idea. If you're familiar with the VLE chart, you will notice that there's an additional line there. Now, if you recall from the previous video that I did where I discussed the bubble plates, you would notice that I said that the bubble plate actually gives you an 85% redistillation. If you look on the inside of the bubble plate, you will see that during the process of distillation or that bubble plate interaction, there is vapor and liquid in both phases and not in one phase at a time. It's not completely recondensing back into a liquid and then revaporizing. You have vapor bubbling through a liquid, so you have a mixture of a redistillation. So this is where my line comes in, where I said that each bubble plate is 85% effective in a redistillation. Now, when I did my first couple of runs on that still, I found out that I'm not getting to that VLE number. So how the VLE chart works is as follows. The line at the bottom is your liquid, the line at the top is your vapor. So if you have a 10% wash that you heat up to, keep in mind that this is not an accurate chart, this is just a visual representation for us to understand this. If you heat up that liquid in your boiler to roughly 87%, you should get a, a steam forming at about 54 percent so that's how the vle chart works now if that vapor condenses back into a liquid and you heat it up once again to roughly 77 degrees centigrade what will happen is that it will then produce a vapor of roughly 87 percent every time you distill or you redistill your product at a higher abv the abv will jump up at a lower temperature. So that is how the VLE chart works. Now for the maths that I did, if you see that if you have a 10% wash in your boiler, you still heat it up to the theoretical boiling point of that mixture and it actually goes through your bubble plate, you're not getting the full distillation, you're getting to about 47%. So that's about a 15 to 15% inefficiency per bubble plate. So yes, there's a couple of factors that will interfere with this or change these numbers and that is your vapor speed. Vapor speed is the amount of energy that you're putting into your still. So the faster your vapor moves up your column, the less time it has to interact with the liquid on your bubble plates or with the packing within your column and you will be getting a higher ABV. So you're actually decreasing the efficiency of your bubble plate by increasing your vapor speed. So you need to find a good equilibrium or a good level of speed when compared to the takeoff speed that you want. So if you want to run your still a little bit faster, you need to increase the amount of plates. If you want to run, if you're willing to run your still a little bit slower to increase the ABV and increase the efficiency of your plates, you can by just running your still a little bit slower. Keeping in mind that vapor speed is exactly tied into your energy in. Now I say energy in and not amount of power because 
everybody uses a different energy source when it comes to producing your distillate. Some guys use gas, some guys use an element. So it's all up to you what kind of energy you're putting into still, but keep in mind that the more energy you're putting in, so the higher you make the temperature within your boiler, or the faster you increase the temperature within your boiler, the less effective your distillation process will be. So slow down your distillation to actually work within this chart. Now when I did the run on my six plate still, I ran it according to a PID, so the vapor speed was continuously maintained with the temperature at the head. I got the plates up to about 85% efficiency, 15% inefficiency. Let's quickly pull back up and recap. Hopefully the VLE chart makes a little bit more sense. Now, if I wasn't really clear, really sorry about that, please put it down in the comment section. I'll try and clarify a little bit more on how to read the VLE chart and how to use it during distillation. Also, sorry for not uploading videos very regularly the last couple of weeks. We are busy doing some renovations in and around the house and work has been a little bit hectic. So soon we'll be back up and running again with recipe videos and all the other fun stuff. Please just bear with us. Now, if you would like me to go live and do a Q&A session regarding the VLE while doing a run or explaining how the vapor speed affects your distillate, please put it down in the comment section and then I'll put it over on the member page where you guys can vote on a date and a time when we go live and we can discuss this in more detail and you can ask a couple of questions live. Once again, thank you very much for sticking around with the channel. Bear with us while we work through all of our repairs and stuff ringing around the house. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lack of day.